guys, today I am bringing you a products worth the hype video. This is kind of like a high-end version. I did do a kind of like a top five drugstore favorites. I think I'll link it down below. I did that. But um, today I'm talking high-end uh, items that I think are worth splurging if you had a little bit of extra cash lying around or you wanted to treat yourself to something nice. Um, these are items that I would repurchase and that I have repurchased time and time again. So I will stop talking and get into the products. Um, and I will start off with um, sort of like a, a base product. It is the NARS uh, Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in... Uh, I believe it's St. Moritz or Moritz. I can't pronounce it. Um, and this is medium one. Now this does have an SPF of 30. Um, I've gone through this once already. This is my second bottle. Uh, this stuff is really nice. It's a little bit more higher in coverage than your average tinted moisturizer. It does um, cover a little bit more. It smells amazing. Uh, it's very sheer and light on the skin. I always recommend this to everyone, and I know it says pure radiant, but there's no shimmer or anything in it at all. It just, um, it's not a matte finish at all by any means. It is a little dewy. It just looks like skin, and uh, it's great for the winter time. It's great for this. I use this all year round, so. Another NARS product, which you've seen all the time, time and time again, it is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I am still on the market to just try something else because I've repurchased this already three times. It's that good. Um, I can use it on blem blemishes, I can use it under eyes, like anything, any discoloration or even alone. Sometimes I wear it underneath the eyes on some blemishes and then just lay some loose powder over top and I'm good to go. Um, it's not cakey. If you put too much, it can be cakey. But I literally just, I swipe. You guys seen me use it before. Um, everybody and their mother uses this stuff, but it is so good and I've turned so many people onto it. Um, my stepsister, my mother, just a lot of people have gravitated toward this because of my big mouth, but it really is a good, overall concealer for everything. Next is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Jeez, mouthful. Uh, this is the face sculpt and highlight palette. It is it's beautiful. I am so I don't know what took me so long to get this. It's so nice, especially the um the sculpting shade. Uh, the highlighter I mentioned before I have an issue with it. Um, I hate it and then sometimes I love it. It's a nice highlighter. It's just a little too much for every day for me, but um, for filming purposes and photographs and going out, um, I will throw it on. And it's just good to have overall. I, I just, I'm very, very happy with it. The bronze part, it's a really, um, or the sculpting part, it's a little warm toned. So if you're looking for something cooler, I will show you in a minute something else um, that I would purchase instead. But this it's just awesome the compact is beautiful the casing everything the mirror is nice and big um so very worth all the hype that it gets it's it's a nice product another product worth the hype are the hourglass ambient lighting powders i remember when they initially came out everyone was kind of skeptical about it because some shades were shimmery or more sh they had more shimmer than other shades and um were bronzier and they were chunky shim like i didn't know if it was a setting powder or if it was a highlighting powder or both but i used the shade dim light i don't know if you guys can see like the dip in it. I've been using this for such a long time, but it's a beautiful setting powder. I say this is like dewy skin in powder form. Um, I have it on today, of course. I just set my foundation with it and it just keeps it from looking cakey. Um, it's just a really, really nice soft powder with a highlighting property, but it isn't shimmer. It's almost like a sheen. So when you Put, pat it onto the skin. It's very undetectable. I can't even describe what it does. It's like 
a filter for your face pretty much but so worth checking out and trying um, I am about an NC 30 to 35 so dim light works perfectly to just set my face and I know it looks super white in the pan and scary but it's not um, it's translucent once it goes on but it's just a really really pretty um, setting powder it's not gonna give you added coverage or anything like that it's just a really nice way to set your makeup and refrain from looking very flat if you get what I'm saying another highlighting and sculpting duo which you can't purchase together but I've purchased them separately this is the old Kevin Aquan packaging this is the the newer one um, I do prefer the newer one but you get less product in it um, this is just a little bulky for me but this is their highlighting powder in candlelight and this is hands down my favorite all-time highlighting powder period it is so natural looking on the skin it is just it's beautiful it's a pretty champagne color and no matter how much you put on I have it on today it you just it's not you can't overdo it with this so for all the girls who want a natural everyday easy highlight this is the one and then for sculpting it is the Kevin O'Quan um, sculpting powder in medium this is a little bit more gray in tone this will actually mimic shadows or it would it is more of a sculpting product the Charlotte Tilbury one it's a little bit warmer I like that I can still get away with it using using it as a um, a uh, God, I can't even speak today. Um, I can get away with it using it as a uh, contour, but this is an actual proper contouring shade. It's much more cooler in terms. So if you don't want something warm, I definitely advise getting this and using just a tiny bit because it is super pigmented. Another Hourglass product is the Arch uh, Brow Sculpting Pencil, and I am in dark brunette. I have black hair. Um, I don't put black stuff in my eyebrows obviously I go with like the darkest brown shade I can find but what I like about this is the ease of it it's one of those like flat tipped um, eyebrow pencils not like the Anastasia brow is which is like super thin um, that I find day to day it's takes me more time to do this is just I swipe or turn it on its side and just fill it in quickly and then on the other end it has a spoolie so I can just brush my brows and keep it moving the formula itself this will keep your brows in place because it has sort of a tackiness to the pencil which I like um, but it's not super super sticky um, and it doesn't rub off on me I wear it every single day um, I'm actually keen on trying another brow product just to try something different but this I've repurchased twice already okay another product worth the hype or products or I should say product are Burberry eyeshadows now um, I've spoken to you guys about pale barley how that is my absolute favorite eyeshadow period but my favorite eyeshadow formula I'd have to give it to Burberry they one the packaging is gorgeous two um you get plenty of product in the pan um and this is just their single eyeshadows but the formula itself it's creamy it's pigmented it's everything i look for in an eyeshadow i've never tried something so buttery but it doesn't um there's no fallout um it's just super easy to blend and just it's, it's almost like a cream cream to powder they also do eyeshadow palettes this one was a limited edition one that came out in the winter time but gorgeous absolutely gorgeous the packaging the embossment um, they come in a nice velvet sleeve just the ultimate treat um, if you're looking to splurge on an eyeshadow and 
surprisingly my pale barley has lasted me forever there isn't even a dent in it which is surprising because I wear it constantly but Burberry eyeshadows are the best that I've tried hands down ever now for lips this was pretty hard but I have to give it to Tom Ford um, you can find dupes. It's not like the colors are, um, you know, undupable, if you want to say. Um, you can definitely find something similar, but it's the packaging, the just the sleek, you know, uh, box shaped, the very satisfying uh, click sound, and just so nice to whip out of your handbag and apply it. Um, Tom Ford are just the ultimate when it comes to lipsticks, I think, um, or are the most raved about. And it's worth investing in just one. Um, I have these, the, the mini, they do the mini ones now, which if you don't wanna fork out the 50 something bucks for just the one full size, you can purchase one of these little mini ones they're creamy, they're pigmented, um, there's, I, I find nothing wrong with it. It's just a really nice, um, treat. Next lip product, which, um, I didn't want to include because it is pricey, but worth the hype. It is the By Terry Bonderose. Um, I have the one that has a little bit of tint to it. This is an 01 Rosy Babe. And it's just a sheer baby pink. Uh, it looks really, really pink in the pot, but it doesn't translate that in person. Um, it smells of roses. It is so moisturizing. And if you have any dry, flaky patches or skin, it will almost dissolve right off. It's gross, but um, this will do it. And the pot is nice and pretty. It would look nice on your nightstand or on your desk or even in your handbag. I've been carrying it around in my bag just because it's been so cold. But definitely worth trying if you're looking for something, a bomb that's going to deliver a, a decent amount of hydration. Um, I know the rose scent puts some people off. So if you do have a sensitive, you know, nose then I'd stay away but overall I'm really happy with it and I'm glad that um, I was able to try it out and I will repurchase this once it's done because it's that good okay last but not least and it is a hair product and if I only had to own one thing for my freaking hair it would be this and it is the Orbe dry texturizing spray I have spoken about this time and time and time and time again um, this is pretty much the only styling product that I use other than, um, it's the Living Proof, Proof, um, it's the leave-in conditioner. Um, that's almost like a primer, so I don't really count that as a styling product. But I don't use hairspray, I don't use gel, mousse, any of that stuff. I just use this. And this is like second day hair in a bottle is what I call it. It's just magic. Um, it gives you volume, it separates, it's nice and matte, it gives some grit to the hair so that it doesn't look, um, I hate it when I first flat iron my hair, like the first day hair, it's just very, like I can't do anything with it, I can't curl it, I can't do anything, but if I run some of this through my hair, it will look piecey and choppy and messy, um, and it, it just smells uh, it smells amazing and it is pricey but to me it's worth it I've purchased the mini bottles twice already I have one in my handbag um, and then I went and splurged on the big uh, long bottle and I will repurchase it over and over again I've tried nothing like this um, I know Bumble and Bumble do one that's similar to this but I tried it and it just doesn't compare. Um, I love, 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 love the spray. So um, I couldn't recommend it enough. Okay, so maybe you're skeptical about purchasing some of these items. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, I'm not saying you have to go out right now and purchase them. I'm just saying if you were thinking about it, they definitely get a thumbs up from me. 
Um, I will leave links to the items down below where you can purchase them if you were interested. Uh, also, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, blog, all that stuff. The links are down below. And I will see you guys next week for monthly favorites. Oh my goodness, it's already that time of the month. Um, so yeah, I will see you next week. Bye.